In this tutorial, we will see how to calculate simple moving average forecasts. As you will see, simple moving averages are extremely easy to calculate. While they are more of a data smoothing technique, they also let you forecast one period into the future. The number of periods to include in the average is flexible and will generally be given by the problem you are working. Three, four, and five are fairly common. If there is seasonality, the number of periods being averaged will generally match the number of periods in the seasonality. That is, quarterly data, for example, will generally use a four period simple moving average. First, let's review the notation. The formula on the slide says that the forecast in period 4 is equal to the actual in period 1 plus the actual in period 2 plus the actual in period 3 all divided by 3. That notation of the forecast and actuals in a given period will be used throughout this section. In this case, this is a three period simple moving average since we add up three numbers and divide by 3. Actuals 1 through 3 give us the forecast for period 4. Actuals 2 through 4 give us the forecast for period 5 and so on. If we want a four period simple moving average, we just increase the number of points averaged to four. And if we want a five period simple moving average, we just increase the number of points averaged to five. This is all there is to it. Given the data shown on the slide, compute the three period simple moving average forecast for as many periods as it is possible to do so. F4 equals 125 plus 130 plus 141 all divided by three equals 132. Note that all the forecasts in this video are rounded to whole numbers. F5 equals 130 plus 141 plus 142 divided by 3 equals 138. Notice how the three periods being averaged moves down. That is why it's called a moving average. F6 equals 141 plus 142 plus 150 divided by 3 equals 144. F7 equals 142 plus 150 plus 157 divided by 3 equals 150. F8 equals 150 plus 157 plus 157 divided by 3 equals 155. F9 equals 157 plus 157 plus 164 divided by 3 equals 159. F10 equals 157 plus 164 plus 167 divided by 3 equals 163. F11 equals 164 plus 167 plus 171 divided by 3 equals 167. This is a forecast going one period into the future. Since beyond this point there are no longer three periods to average, the forecast can only go one period into the future. The slide shows a chart comparing the actual to the forecast. Notice that the orange forecast line is much smoother than the blue actual line. This is why simple moving averages are a form of data smoothing. Using the same data as example number one, compute the four period simple moving averages. Since you've seen an example already, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to work this problem on your own. Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. F5 equals 125 plus 130 plus 141 plus 142 divided by 4 equals 135. F6 equals 130 plus 141 plus 142 plus 150 divided by 4 equals 141. F7 equals 141 plus 142 plus 150 plus 157 divided by 4 equals 148. F8 equals 142 plus 150 plus 157 plus 157 divided by 4 equals 152. F9 equals 150 plus 157 plus 157 plus 164 divided by 4 equals 157. F10 equals 157 plus 157 plus 164 plus 167 divided by 4 equals 161. F11 equals 157 plus 164 plus 167 plus 171 divided by 4 equals 165. The slide shows the chart of the new forecast. Once again, you see that the forecast is much smoother than the actual data. If you found that this video helped you with your operations management problem, please consider liking the video and even subscribing to the channel.